Good afternoon, Who That Nation. Welcome to the WDN Chat Long Podcast. It's the host CB. And today, I want to show you guys some film on outstanding linebacker Pete Warner in the game versus the Bucks. Um, I planned on getting on here showing you guys missed opportunities we had in the Bucks game on the offense where there was missed opportunities that Jameis had. Um, scrambling for the first down, we could have took those. Um, Throwing deep to Chris Olave when we had underneath passes. Um, but I worked with the All-22 series. That's how I get my film, and they took forever to put it out. So I just planned on giving you guys some highlights instead of, you know, worrying about what happened with the books. It's time for preparation for the Panthers. So I'm going to give you guys some highlights from Pete Warner. And uh, you guys know how I feel about Pete Warner, especially coming into the season. Um, I was unsure of how he was in coverage. I, I didn't know if he was going to be a liability in coverage or was he going to be an asset coming into the season, along with him not being in training camp. But um, this man has definitely proved that he's able to be a very asset in coverage. But before I do that, man, I just want to read you guys his stats. For the Atlanta game, the Atlanta game, he had 12 tackles and he had that forced fumble on on Mary Yoda. He had that forced fumble on Mary Yoda in the red zone. Hell of a game by Pete Warner. And he also made some plays while he was in coverage. I won't give you guys that film. You know, it's all 22. I got to get adjusted to it. But um, this Bucks game is he really stood out in coverage to me. He had eight tackles. Um, but to me, he really stood out more in coverage this game because he had a few pass breakups. He was either three or four. Um, but I got the film to show you guys. But, yes, man, I was just unsure of what he was going to bring in the coverage game. He's all, he's definitely shown that he's a great run stopper. So I wasn't too surprised to see that. But, uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and get started, man. Let's. Go over here and get to the film room. Get to the film room and let's just go ahead and get started. You guys bear with me with this new setup with all 22. Okay, let's go. Ooh. Okay, before I get started, let me just go ahead and point them out. Peter's right here. It looked like they in nickel right here. This is a pass breakup play by Pete Warner. So let's go. He switched. Pete Warner on the other side. You give it to Fournette. Boom. Pass breakup. Exactly what we're looking for. This is a replay. You see the swap with him and DeMario. Peter's right there. He going underneath the Fournette. Boom. Pass breakup. Now, we know that's Leonard Fournette. Leonard Fournette is definitely not the flashy running back quick speed. He more of a bruiser. But just the fact that Pete Warner is making plays on running backs in coverage, that's a great thing. So, um, hell of a play by Pete Warner. And just bear with me as I try to scroll through these plays. Once again, I'm just giving you guys some, some highlights that he made in coverage. I got a few run stopping plays, but okay, here we go. Okay. I'm gonna be sure to punt them out again. Pete Warner is right here. Look like they in nickel again. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's see what Pete Warner does right here. Good run stopping play. Give the four net. We, this this is not surprising to us, you know, with him being a run stopper. Once again, give the four net, boom. Okay, and the play immediately after that is a pass breakup play. Oh, 
Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You see Pete Warner, he, he was out here in coverage. This is a running back now. This is a running back that he's in coverage with. And you see Brady. I, I'm going to have to rewind this, man. Y'all y'all bear with me. Bear with me because I can't, can't let that go. Okay, now you see Pete Warner's right here. The running back motioned out in coverage a few seconds ago. He just motioned out here. Tom Brady looks his way because that's the play that he thinks he got a liability with in Pete Warner. He thinks Pete Warner is going to lose this matchup against his running back. So let's play. He's already looking that way. Okay, play. Boom! Pass breakup by Pete Warner. So we're going to play it again. You see the running back motioned out. Pete is out here. Boom! Pass breakup once again by Pete Warner. This is the type of plays that I was concerned about. If people that got beat in coverage right there, that probably could have been a touchdown. Or at least stopped on the three-yard line. Because it was two defenders. Tyron and Sean was right there. So Mike wasn't going to be able to block both of them. These are the plays that I was concerned about. If, if they are, you know I mean, and Pete's showing them right here. Yeah, I'm going to be right here on your running back. So, yeah, you ain't about to try me like that. That's basically what, what Pete was proving with these last two pass breakups. Okay, let's go ahead and keep it moving. I hate this new setup, man. Usually could just go right to the play, but it's all good. Rock with me, who that nation? Okay, okay, right here. Look like nickel once again. Um, Pete Warner's right here, and this is a pass breakup. Pete Warner's right here. Let's see what happens. Okay, that wasn't a pass breakup, but Pete Warner was right there. Right there, Leonard Fournette that had nowhere to go. Even if that catch would have been made, if the throw was better, he was right there waiting on it. So Leonard Fournette had nowhere to go that play. This is what I was concerned about with Pete Warner, and, and he definitely proved that he's able to make these kind of plays in coverage. Play immediately after that. This is a run stop and play right here. Pete Warner's right here. See how he just going through the gaps, meeting for that. Going to get a better angle right here. Pete Warner right there. Okay, go get it, Pete. Go get it. And we know Pete has been exceptionally well at, at meeting the tackles. So, man, shout out to him. Okay, let's keep it moving. We got two more plays for y'all. Okay, we're gonna scroll, scroll on down. Okay. Okay, this play right here. Pete one is right there. I see. That's two, four. I don't know what kind of look is that. But anyway, Pete Warner's right there. Okay. Run, stop, and play. Boom! Him and Demario on it. Leonard Fournette went nowhere. Watch a replay. Be the last play on Pete. Okay. Pete is right here. 
You guys see him. Okay, look. They give it to the tight end. Boom! That's about a one-yard gain after that push. Once again, y'all see Pete. They motion Mike. Number 88, the tight end. Pete right there, right on it. Boom! And that stretch right there, that gave him one or two yards right there. These is the things that I wanted to see from Mike. Excuse me, not Mike, but from Pete Warner. I wanted to see these things from Pete Warner. And he definitely has done exceptionally well in coverage, man. I'm excited. And honestly, to me, he's been the most outstanding player on defense thus far. DeMario, you know, had a okay game week one. Uh, week two, it was a very much better game. But Pete Warner, he's been doing well in the tackling, pass breakup. He had a forced fumble. So, uh, yeah, man, shout out to Pete Warner. It was a question mark with me coming into this season because we had a guy that was able to be exceptional in coverage. But you showing that you're able to do the same thing, man. If you put two and two together, that's what make linebackers, man. That's what make Pro Bowl linebackers, star linebackers. So, uh, man, just keep it up. Pete Warner, we behind you. Once again, just keep doing your thing. Who that nation, I want to thank y'all for tuning in. That'll wrap up this segment on Pete Warner. Just wanted to give you guys a few plays of him in coverage. And a few with stopping the run. So make sure you guys like, subscribe, and follow the page. It's the WDN Chat Long Podcast, and I'm out. Who that?